The Julian calendar put forth in ancient Rome had one modification to previous calendars. It had a leap day. Okay, the leap day is how often? Every four years. This was good. Because what are we trying to track? We're trying to, it's Earth goes around the sun. And so we say, all right, how long does that take? Well, it takes a year. But it turns out we're not actually tracking how long it takes Earth to go around the sun. We're ha tracking how long it takes Earth to repeat its seasons. And the repeat, the year that corresponds to our seasons is slightly different from the year that corresponds to how long it takes to go around the sun. And that difference was not recognized in the early calendars. And that difference accumulated so that by the year 1584, the vernal equinox, the first day of spring, did not occur on March 21st. It occurred on March 10th. So let's fix this. The Jesuit priests got to study this. They looked at the cycles of the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, and they came up with a new calendar, the Gregorian calendar, a modification to the Julian calendar. You know what they had to do? To invoke it, they had to take 10 days out of the calendar.